searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Adrian Whitsett. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. The head chef at Covington's Kung Fu Chews Amerasian has died of complications from COVID-19. Avelino Rojas Vargas worked for decades in kitchens in our area. In a Facebook post, the restaurant says Rojas Vargas cooked with passion and soul and worked hard to do any job in the kitchen. There is a GoFundMe set for his family. You can find it on our website, WCPO.com. A Pendleton brewery temporarily closed due to the virus. Brewdog Brewing shuttered its tap room right before Christmas and has not reopened. The brewery also temporarily closed a location near Columbus and another in Indianapolis. In Kentucky, students should still be able to return to in-person learning as early as next Monday. Governor Bashir says schools will be allowed to bring their students back as long as the COVID-19 protocols from his previous executive order are followed. They include continuing to offer virtual learning options and making special accommodations for teachers and staff that are at a higher risk of infection. Macy's set to close one of its stores here in the Tri-State. It's the Macy's at the Tri-County Mall. It will shut its doors this spring. There will first be an 8 to 12 week long clearance sale. That starts this month. Company leaders, so, company leaders say though the location has served customers for more than 60 years, they will close and they will continue to serve at their Florence Anderson Town Center and Kenwood Town Center locations. Jennifer. Today's forecast, no surprises here. It's another cloudy day in the tri-state. Now, January, notorious for this, your cloudy days and just not a lot of temperature movement. We'll start in the mid to low 30s and only make it to about 37 to 38 out there today. And it's all thanks to another system developing out across the Great Plains and the Midwest. This is actually going to dive well south of us and miss us, but it's guaranteed to keep the clouds here. That's why tonight is overcast and again tomorrow, but tonight we're down to about 28.